Yes, good morning, children. Now, uh, today we are going to continue with the lesson on measurement and motion. So, we are going to start with these three. There are questions here, which let me see if you know. Why is it important to know how far a place is? So, when you are, someone's house you want to go, they ask you, the, you ask, how far is your house? Why do you ask this question? There's only one reason, and that is, you need to check if suppose it is very far then you will take a bus or a train if it is nearby you can go even by a cycle okay so to this you ask this question to check the distance right how far the house is and then accordingly you will decide on how you're going to go. then another one is your what does your PD teacher use to measure the length of a playground so we don't use the same instrument for all things to be measured. Okay, for the length of the playground, maybe the long tape is used. Two other two hundred centimeter tape is used. Right. So that way, depending upon the size of the object that has to be measured, we use different measuring instruments. And what is estimation? Estimation is just trying to, you know, judge uh, the size of a material without actually measuring it okay so today we are going to study on how to measure length okay what is the actual method of measuring length so now we'll see how we can measure length accurately okay now length is the distance between any two points okay which should term as length it could be measured in different ways but generally in your notebook or small distances be measured with a ruler okay now when you have to measure a, a line with a ruler how do you measure what are the things that you need to take care of okay one is that the ruler should be placed exactly along the length of the object that has to be measured okay and one end of the ruler should be at the mark zero okay the, uh, the one end of the line or the whatever you are measuring should be at the mark zero of the ruler and then you are going to measure the other side, the other end. Okay. Now in case the zero mark is not there, then the initial reading, okay, the initial mark has to be noted down and the final mark and it has to be subtracted. The third most important thing is that your, the position of your eye, you can see in the figure here, the correct position of your eye is the center one, it has to be exactly same above the uh, final point okay it should not be at an angle right? because that will also give you a wrong reading okay now here is a small activity that you are going to do that is to measure the length of a curved line how are we going to measure you can see in the figure here there is a curved line AB and we have to measure the length we cannot use a scale now okay the scale is straight and here the line is curved so instead of using a scale what we use is a thread we use a thread now how do we do it we first tie a knot at one end of the thread and that knot we place on the starting point okay then we try to move the thread all along the curved path okay and at each turning we may mark put a mark on the thread so that you know that it goes very smoothly and then after uh, moving the thread all along the curved line then we again make another knot at the end of the line or we can even mark on the thread okay so now this will give us the uh, then when we straighten the thread we get the length of the curved line okay and that we can uh, measure with the help of a scale we measure the length of the thread and that will give us the length of the curved line okay now you will all do this activity it has to be done and noted down in your journal Thank you children, we will continue again in the next class.